energy consumption in the building can be 25% of your total operating budget. Could be as high as 35%. Buildings use 39% of all the energy in the country. And they admit 38% of all the carbon dioxide into the atmosphere that causes global warming. So buildings have a major impact. And so if you look at each of these and think about them, think about all the electricity and all the energy use and all the, the carbon emissions and then the fact that that energy is a huge part of your budget, 25%. So we're gonna talk in this, in this session about how we can manage energy and how we can reduce our energy waste and improve the efficiency of our buildings. So there is an economic return to go going green and to reducing consumption. Like I said, it's the largest controllable cost on your property, energy use. 25% of your bill, of your, of your operating budget is dedicated towards energy on average. Green buildings in themselves can save about 26% in consumption compared to non-green buildings. Um, but the practices I'm gonna show you are going, you're gonna be able to apply without having to build a new building. You're gonna be able to apply and reduce your consumption. A 15% decrease in your energy consumption on an average 200 unit property can increase your property value, the value of the building by a million dollars. Because NOI, net operating income, as that goes up, that's the basis of the, the value of your building. So it can improve the value of your building. It's the single most important thing that you can do in managing your buildings. Improving energy efficiency. Saves energy, saves money, and it fights global warming. So you get all those benefits just by reducing consumption and efficiently managing. Waste is prevalent. You know, it's interesting, components in buildings are actually 30% more efficient than they were in 1980, and yet overall consumption has not decreased. Isn't that interesting? This is according to Energy Star. Um, factors that impact our consumption are things that we're going to talk about and how we can manage that because the reason energy consumption hasn't come down is because our behaviors haven't changed. We have more efficient equipment, but we're just not running them any more efficient than we did before. We're not doing things on our part to actually improve them. So, you know, there's this um, conception out there that if you build it green, it's going to be save you energy, and it will, but the human factor, us as we manage our properties, is a huge, huge piece of the puzzle. And we're gonna talk about different factors that affect energy, and one starting off that we're gonna talk about is heating and cooling loads. That has got physical factors.